All right, hello everyone. I needed to go over some information regarding the new uh, Playdemic update. Um, in case you guys aren't aware of some of the changes that you're seeing, especially during the game, where it might look like some kind of visual glitch, it's actually not a visual glitch. It's actually been confirmed by Playdemic that they have new cheat detection that I want to kind of go over for you guys and show you kind of what's happening. So I'm gonna play this video for you guys. And we're going to watch it and kind of see what's happening. There's two cheats at play on this video. So the very first component, you'll see that the opponent basically just lines it up. This is actually, you know, the guy that's shooting isn't recording. This is actually his opponent. So this is the video of what's basically happening. As you can see, the guy's just putting it on the hole. And he can see basically how the shot is being lined up. And you'll also see he's basically just kind of perfecting it as kind of getting it as close as possible and then doesn't move any rings. So this portion of the, and then the next thing that you're going to see, this is the second part of the hack. You can see there's a ma major slice there. So you can see the release timing. It looks like um, that the ball went offline, but it really didn't. It was just the wind affecting the ball. And it's only affecting the ball on your, sh on your screen. So you'll see there it says eagle, which means that he just pointed at the hole and basically the wind didn't play. And what he sees on his screen is the ball just goes in because, uh, you know, he lined it up at the hole. So what you're seeing is the opponent's view of what happened. So let's just discuss these two things that kind of just happened. You can see basically the ball still gets affected by wind on your screen. However, it goes into the bunker and then glitches. It looks like it glitches up into the hole. It's not really a glitch. It's just now able to detect and show you guys that, uh, you know, what everything that your opponent does and if he does something like that. And if you see balls skipping and jumping, you're going to want to put in tickets and send them to support uh, to be reviewed because... Playdemic, they're taking a stance on this and they're now uh, banning a lot of accounts that are doing this. So if you see anything like this happening, that's what you want to be aware of and that's what you want to be proactive about putting in tickets against. The other part of the hack, but let's talk about that real quick because you'll see that it just sliced, but the ball still went straight. The only thing that happened is it was affected by the wind. And, but it still went straight. It didn't actually slice off to the side. It still went straight, just the wind touched it, and that was it. So anytime you see the ball, if the release timing looks like that, or if it looks kind of suspicious, you're going to want to also be reporting it. Keep in mind, these are two separate hacks. They don't need to be used together. They can be used individually. So each hack, you know, to be cheating, it could be the no wind hack or it could be the perfect ball hack these are just two of the cheat the, of the popular cheats being used in one video here um and from what i know about that perfect ball hack what you're what you're seeing is the reason that he releases like that is because the guys who are using that hack what 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 happens on their screen they basically pull back the needle and that's it they can't see it shaking it doesn't shake on their screen. So they have to kind of just release at some random point on the screen. So uh, there's a couple things that you might want to be looking for. You know, there's, you know, some, some way that um, you'll just want to see, you know, is it going where, is the ball going where it should? Um, because they're, they're basically just releasing at some random point because they can't see when to release. So oftentimes it, it's going to be, you know, a hook or a slice, but if they get lucky, it could still wind up in the bullseye somewhere. So you want to still be paying attention to what's happening with the ball. So if, for example, you know, your opponent hits a three ring good ball, for example, but the ball seems to not be affected by the wind and still lands perfectly in the center of the fairway or, you know, towards the pin, whatever. Um, chances are, you know, you may, you know, be playing against somebody using this hack. And, um, you know, that's why you'll want to basically go in and let me show you how to do that. 
So here we are in game and we'll just pull up this chat window at the very top left there. And then I'll hit this little conversation button on the top right. Once I go in here, I can start typing message to support. So this is how I this is how I email and say, okay, this I I was playing this opponent. Um, can you please review my video? And you'll go ahead and submit a ticket and say, please review this footage. I think something suspicious. However, the first thing that you'll want to do actually before putting in that ticket is you'll want to go to the replay. Here's Here's my example of a replay. You can see there's an edit function. So when I go to the uh, little pencil there, I can just say, uh, you know, support. And I can just label this as cheat, for example. And, you know, do this if there's a genuine concern about what's happening. There's no point of you doing this on social media or blasting people. It's not going to do anything. So you have to do this in game if you want to be proactive about this. So you'll label this, you'll hit confirm, and then you'll go about sending that ticket if you see anything suspicious out there. Because that's what's happening is that visual, it, it might appear to be a visual glitch, but it's actually cheat detection that's, uh, you know, they changed the way that their coding is working. So you can still actually see when your opponent's doing something suspicious now. So if you're seeing that at any time during the tournament, make sure that you're being proactive, put in tickets as necessary, um, and you know just be conscientious, what, pay attention to your opponent and what's actually happening on screen. If the ball is going in places that you don't feel that it should be, you know you can get a second opinion from you know somebody who somebody who you know who really knows the game. But other than that, if you feel confident that something's not uh, going the way that it should, put in this ticket and they are going to be banning accounts that are, you know, using these cheats. So, you know, if, if, if something looks suspicious, you know, be proactive, put in the ticket and, you know, hopefully we can clean up the game for the better. So, uh, good luck out there guys. Um, and thanks for watching.